And now let's meet Wrathchild America's Terry Carter. Hi, Terry. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Diana. It's been a long time. Yeah, I'm real excited about your new album. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Well, thanks. I'm glad you like it. Tell us about it. It's called 3D. We made it in Ithaca, New York, upstate. Uh, producer's name is Alex Perry Alice. And uh, we're happy with it. How'd you get the name 3D? Well, just from all the different uh, influences that we incorporated into it. Uh, all the different dimensions that we tried to use. And we're tried to make our little statement about closed-minded situations. Yes. Well, it's really a wonderful album. I hear it's doing great. What was it? Um, third most requested on the metal charts or something? Yes, and The Hard Report, a trade magazine, claimed that it was uh, number one most requested in some places. That's wonderful. And you're just about to hit MTV with two great videos, right? Yes, sir. Where'd you make the videos? New York. Uh, just a little warehouse. Mm -hmm. Up on a rooftop, too. We did, did some stuff. How'd you get the concepts for the videos? Who decided that? Well, we all worked together with the director of the four of us in the band, and we sat down and just tried to come up with something unusual, some things that have never really been seen in video before, and we were able to do it. Who does most of the writing for the band, Terry? All of us. Yeah. It's pretty equal, because we each have different strong points. One of us will be good at that, a certain thing. So when that certain thing needs done, it's like, all right, now. What's Terry Carter's strong point? Mm. Uh, I'm pretty good at stuff like uh, music theory. I can uh, tie things together in a sensible way to where if a very musically inclined person is listening to it, it would make sense to them. Do you write lyrics as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your favorite song in the album? Mm, I'd have to say Desert Grins. Okay. Yeah. And now let's rock with Wrathchild America. <laughs>
And now let's meet lead singer Brad Divens. Hi, Brad. How are you doing? All right. How'd you get started performing way back when? Uh, well, I used to go to these uh, homecomings in our hometown, and I used, always used to see the country bands up on stage playing, you know, and I was like, I want to get a guitar like that, you know. I was Where'd you grow up? In uh, McConnellsburg, Pennsylvania. I was like, Dad, I want a guitar like that, you know. So they finally got me a guitar and an amp for Christmas, and uh, I took some lessons. I started out, you know, bang, 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 learning all the notes and the strings and everything, and then I uh, finally learned a song. It was a Johnny Cash song. I hear the train coming. Mm -hmm. They're in prison blues. And that was it. Do you like country music a lot? Well, I don't really like country. I mean, I like all kinds of music, but I i mean, country's okay. It's just that happened to be like the first song that I learned. You know, I was eight years old. I didn't i didn't know, you know, Van Halen and ACDC. They weren't around yet. Were they your favorites growing up, Van Halen and ACDC? Uh, no, it was uh, ACDC, Aerosmith, and uh, Ted Nugent. Do you write most of the lyrics for Rathtel? Actually, Shannon writes a lot of the lyrics, and... Uh, then we collect, like he'll come up with a sketch, like an outline, and then we'll get together and structure everything out and make sure there's nothing that sounds dumb or, you know, make sure everything's well thought out. And what's been your favorite experience making this new album, 3D? Uh, 360s with the rent a car, going into the apartment complex about 3 in the morning. No, I guess uh, just getting to work in a more relaxed environment and not being rushed. I mean, we had the... We had the time, we had a little more money this time than we had last time, and, you know, everything was just a lot more relaxed. You know, we were working with a, a pro producer, and, you know, it was just, we knew what we wanted to do, we knew exactly what direction we wanted to take, and that's what we did. And now let's meet Rathchild America's dynamite drummer, Shannon Larkin. How you doing, Shannon? Happening, <laughs> hanging in there. Did you have fun making your album 3D? Was it exciting for you? Yeah, it was great. Really had a great time. I'm happy with the way it sounds, the way it came out. It's happening. How long have you been playing drums? Thirteen years. How'd you hook up with these guys? Well, uh, Terry and I started the band, uh, I guess, ten years ago. And uh, he had gotten a guitar for Christmas, and I got a drum set. You know, and that's, and uh, we had a mutual friend, and that's we, he introduced us to each other, and we've been together ever since. And how'd you meet Brad Divins? Uh, we used to open up for his band. He had a band called Rat Salad a long time ago, before Kicks, pre-Kicks days. And uh, we would open up for him. And on our nights off, when his band would play, we'd come up and always go see Rat Salad and throw Rathchild business cards at him on stage, you know. We'd blatantly try and steal him. And uh, the day after he was axed from Kicks, he, uh, he called us up, you know. And, um, it's been like brothers ever since. So you all get along real good then, huh? Yeah. Great. What's been your most memorable experience with the band? Recording the second album, that one. That, that was the best so far.
Guitarist Jay Benny. How does Rathchild go about writing a song? Um, usually, comes he starts with a riff. You know, me and Terry will come up with a riff, and then um, we'll all put our heads together and build on it. And Shannon and uh, t uh, Shannon and Brad would usually do most of the lyrical stuff. You know, but we all, when it comes to especially like the arrangements, we all sit down and you know, you know, argue for it, whether it be good or bad, or you know, t to make it the best we can, which is you know. Hopefully pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that ends our show for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, and be sure to tune in every week for Rock and Roll the...